Invasive lobular carcinoma, ILC, or lobular breast cancer is a troubling and fairly common cancer that research has neglected. It truly needs a moonshot. Lobular breast cancer is pretty common. It's 15% of all breast cancer diagnoses. That's about 44,000 women in the U.S. each year and more common than ovarian cancer. But it hasn't gotten much research attention or funding, which is a big problem because it has some very troubling characteristics. Lobular breast cancer is a different histologic subtype of breast cancer from the much more common ductal subtype, and it behaves really differently. One of the most troubling and puzzling things about lobular breast cancer is that it's very hard to detect. This is because lobular breast cancer tumors typically lack the protein E cadherin and don't form lumps. Instead, lobular tumors grow in spidery lines that are hard to image. That means that ILC is frequently missed by standard imaging until the tumors are larger, later stage, or even already metastatic. It's too often the case that it's only once a woman feels symptoms and seeks more diagnostic testing and biopsies that her lobular breast cancer is finally diagnosed. And in the case of metastatic lobular breast cancer, lobular breast cancer has more troubling traits. The tumors can go to unusual parts of the body and be very hard to detect or monitor. The reasons are still a mystery to the scientific community because there's been too little research into lobular breast cancer. There are still no lobular-specific treatments. Those of us living with lobular breast cancer think that's just not okay. I'm Ann Camden and I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been living with metastatic lobular breast cancer since 2016. Scans that February didn't catch it, but by May it had already spread to my bones. We have to have better imaging tools to identify lobular breast cancer in women like me. My name is Tracy Cushing and I was diagnosed with invasive lobular breast cancer at the age of 45. I have no family genetic history and no personal risk factors. My cancer was missed on screening mammograms every year for five years until I found a 3.6 centimeter tumor myself. My name is Shay. I live in California. We need much more lobular breast cancer research because there's not enough known about why lobular breast cancer tumors are often missed with standard imaging until they're larger like mine was. My name is Barbara and I'm from Ohio. I had classic invasive lobular breast cancer. My routine mammogram turned out not to be so routine. What was supposed to be a tiny cancer, a simple surgery and done, was in fact two much larger tumors and cancer that had migrated to the lymph nodes. Hi, my name is Chris Blake and I'm from the Tampa Bay area of Florida. In 2018, I started having trouble eating and I could only eat a few bites with, before feeling full and had nausea and lost 17 pounds very quickly. So I had an endoscopy which showed that I had lobular breast cancer in my stomach. It had spread from my bones to my stomach because I did not know I had it for six years before it was found. My name is Kathy. I live in Pennsylvania. I have invasive lobular carcinoma that never showed up on a mammogram despite regular screening exams. We need much more lobular breast cancer research because there's not enough known about why these tumors are so often missed with standard imaging as mine was until they're larger or later stage and may be harder to treat. Hi, my name is Julia and I live in California. I have metastatic lobular breast cancer. Lobular breast cancer is understudied and there are no metastatic lobular clinical trials in the United States. We need more research to find out what treatments are effective in lobular breast cancer. This will help save lives. My name is Natalia Padron and I am from Florida, Kissimmee, the Sunshine State. And I am a stage four breast cancer patient. This type of cancer is really sneaky. It's really hard to, to diagnose. Most of the imaging don't catch it. Most of the traditional mammograms, even the diagnostic mammograms don't catch it. They uh, mistake the cancer with uh, dense tissue. It's true that cancer research has advanced greatly since the Cancer Moonshot Initiative first launched. Not so much when it comes to lobular research. Thousands of women are still being diagnosed later and with larger tumors. Some of them are already metastatic. We implore you, don't leave lobular breast cancer research behind.